Peggy 12. the beginning we wanted to be based around Celtic mythology and we wanted a particular feel toward the world so this this feeling of a, a world suffused with magic. Our biggest draw was the Irish culture and Celtic influence in general. Um, if it came from Northern Europe it's probably in our game somewhere. We fight banshees, we bring up ancient war spirits. We have uh, Celtic pixies running through magical forests. Ancient things called bogies. Bogies were, were the critters in the night that stole children and, and things from your cupboard. It's filled with knots and ghosts and sprites and, and bogies, but really it's, it's brought into a modern understanding. We wanted to make sure to ground our game in some real mythology because we were going for an archetypal story. We wanted something that would be close enough to the medieval fantasy themes that gamers are very familiar with, but still fresh enough at the same time that it would feel like a new take on them. With each of the major environments, we were looking for ways to push them outside of what you're familiar with. We wanted to create the sense that you're someplace else, someplace strange, someplace that's not the real world. The foresting door! I can see it! We took our, our worlds and we really gave them a rich visual treatment that made them look uh, just frankly stunning and beautiful. And a place that even if you weren't playing the game, you would be really enjoying just getting to walk through it and sort of marveling at the architecture and the flora and fauna and the way the light played off the surfaces. The elves who built a lot of this stuff, they don't build like humans do. They grow things organically. There's something sort of unsettlingly strange about the way the buildings are constructed in these spaces. They're not built like normal human buildings. So all of the ruins that you see in the endless stair, they don't feel like crumbled stone. It's like the stone has all been like grown like plants. Everything has sort of this sinuous feel to it, and then it's toppled and fallen over. What we want is the player to always feel like that there is a sort of sense of menace in the world. When you first start off, you travel to the realm of the dead, and it creates a very particular sort of mood at the beginning of the game that immediately takes you outside of, of being in the real world. The whole idea behind Lock Barrow is wandering through a graveyard on a midsummer's night. It's this um, enormous ruined fortress that is filled with mist and there's ghostly hands that are, that are reaching up out of the ground every place you go. We call them the restless dead, long lost battle spirits from, from Irish Celtic songs. In our world, we really draw on those ancient legends. Those were really a lot of the deep inspiration behind most of the critters that you'll find. We have several different base enemy types. We have the Restless Dead, we have the Forest Selves, and we have the Bogies, which are goblin-like creatures. There's all different types of Bogies. There's fire shamans, ice shamans. There's warriors that just go berserk and run at you. We tried to create a silhouette and a profile that was far enough removed from goblins and trolls that it could be a fresh and original character. Hey! Sylphs in the fairy forest are really come from the classic sense of pixies. Little butterfly wings and the sugar plum dances. Sylphs are kind of corrupted fairies. When you first encounter these sylphs, you're thinking, oh, that's a, that's a fairy, that's a nice fairy. But then that fairy comes up to you and slaps you in the face with a twig. And you're like, what's going on? Personally, through hours and hours of playing the game and testing the game, the sylphs are the absolute bane of my existence. The creatures that we, we've developed for sorcery really draw from those global legendary critters. And ghosts, goblins, things that move in the woods. Um, just those childhood dreams that we all grew up, we all heard about in, in stories, those things that are timeless across every culture. Oh.